The playoffs in every sport are the pinnacle of excitement for fans. But there's just something about the NHL postseason that gets our resident experts in a frenzy. Normally, I would stay out of their way. But today, Kurt and Christine Williams need a mediator to shut out their arguments. So I'll be sending one of them to the penalty box if things get out of hand. Now guys, in these arguments, you have to support your answers with a reference from the last five years. We're gonna make things a little interesting. I here. like that, yeah. And Christine, we're gonna start with you now. Uh, what team can you see making a deep playoff run? You know, I'm going to have to say the Washington Capitals. No one really expected this at the beginning of the season. They started their season 2-8-1, but they are 9-1 and in their last 10 games. Now, I'm going to look back at the Los Angeles Kings. They also were looking on, on the outside looking in in February. Now, they ended up winning the Stanley Cup. It's all about how you finish, not how you start. I like this team always heating up. Do I see them actually going to the Stanley Cup Finals? No, but I think they can make it to the Eastern yeah. Conference Finals. Listen, I, I gotta stop you there, listen. A team that's led by Alexander Ovechkin, and yes, he's scoring right now, and that's great. That's but all you know, he needs. Listen, but Alexander Ovechkin doesn't want to back check, doesn't want to play defense. I can't pick a team like that to go far in the postseason, please. Mine is the San Jose Sharks. And listen, their goalie's name is Andy Niemi. And if you think of what happened in 2010, oh yeah, Andy Niemi was the goaltender for the Blackhawks. Okay, okay. And basically single-handedly brought them to the Stanley Cup Finals. Oh, and won the Stanley Cup. Similar to what's going to happen this year in San Jose. However. Because Andy Niemi is back and he's going to be a Vezina candidate. But it is the Sharks after all. They're known for their collapses. I see nothing different. And it's all about momentum heading into the playoffs. I'm going to go with Christine on this one. The Capitals on a roll here. Ovi's on fire, so I'm going with Christine. But you've got two questions left still. You have time. I'm not going in that box. Today, right? <laughs> Next one here, guys. Who is going to win the Conn Smythe Award? Yeah, listen. This, this may be considered a little optimistic, a little bit of a long shot, but if the Columbus Blue Jackets do make the playoffs, do go for a run, it's all because of Sergei Bobrovsky. He is the best goaltender in hockey right now. Now, if you think about the Columbus Blue Jackets, 26th in the league in goals scored. One of the worst power plays in all of hockey. The only reason why they're even sniffing the postseason is because of Bob. And similar to Tim Thomas in 2011. And what the Bruins do then? Oh yeah, win the Stanley Cup. Well, I like that pick, but they're not even in the playoffs right now. And they did. They're an eighth. If it ended today, they'd be in. But they just added Marion Gabrick. He's going to add some goal scoring for them. He's just got to fit into the system. Bobrovsky hasn't really sniffed the playoffs ever before, so he hasn't really been tested in this environment. I'm, it, I, I do see if they do do well, it will be because, because of him, but they're not oh, in yet. You. They're thank not you. in yet. So, so who's your team? So right now, I would have to go with Jonathan Taves. They are definitely going to make the postseason. They're in. I see them making a deep, deep, deep run. And if you compare this to... Who else but Jonathan Taves who won it in 2010. <laughs> so if he can keep up the production that he's been on, he's a lot doing a lot better than he even did in 2010, then I see it being him. Fun fact for you guys here, a goalie has not won this award three times in a row, but potential Vezina and Hart Award finalist might happen this year. So I'm going with Kurt on this one. One more question here. Tiebreaker, one of you is going in there. So think about this one really close. Which player under the radar will contribute to his team's success the most? Everyone's predicting the Pittsburgh Penguins to make a deep run. Now, when you think of the Pittsburgh Penguins, who do you think? You think Crosby, Malkin, Fleury, Latang. In 2009, when they won it, who did you think of? Crosby, Malkin, Fleury, Latang. Who you didn't think of was Jordan Stahl, who killed penalties, scored timely goals. He really contributed to his team's success. And now, who's going to be that same guy for this team this year? Brandon Sutter, the guy that they traded away Jordan Stahl for. So I think if this guy can come in and kill those penalties, score those magical goals. Everyone's going to overlook him. They're going to send out their strong defensive pairings against Crosby and Malkin and forget all about Brandon Sutter. Is story time over? Can I go now? Is it my turn? Go for it. Okay, great. So listen, the issue with Brandon Sutter is probably under the radar. He's one of the best penalty kill men in all of hockey. But I'm going to pick a guy who's truly under the radar this year in Timu Solani. Now listen, Solani's been around forever, but at this point he only has 23 points on the season. He's not scoring like he used to. He's 42 years old, but where he's really going to help the, the Anaheim Ducks is in that locker room. And people are going to rally around him, win one for Timu before he leaves. His leadership will carry that team throughout the playoffs. And that's much more valuable than whatever Brandon Sutter is going to do. It would be nice to see the Ducks win for Timu Solani. But he has a knack for scoring goals at the end of games and winning games. And that's a big impact for a team. So, Kurt, if you wouldn't mind, Enjoy. please step into the penalty box. You picked her. Enjoy I did. the box. Have fun. We have to take another break before someone gets hurt, but stick around because up next, our MLB experts decide whether to be optimistic or pessimistic about expectations. Stay tuned. <laughs> 